Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. You guys will never guess what I received in the mail yesterday. My very first fairy loot box. I am so excited. You guys have no idea. I've been waiting at least five to six months to even get off the wait list to get this box. So this box to me is very precious. It's the most anticipated book box that I have been waiting for and I'm the most excited about this one because Fairy Loot just does such a good job with their books and their exclusive editions. Out of all the book boxes that I own and that I have, Fairy Loot does the best with their editions. They just do such a great job and I'm so excited to get my hands on this. This is their YA January box and I'm super, super excited. I think I know what the book is. I'm still on their adult book only box wait list and I also got on their new romantic book only wait list. I think it's a book only wait list, but I don't know when I'm gonna get off that list. Honestly, if it took me literally almost six months to get off the list on this one, I can only imagine how long it's gonna take me to get off the list on the other ones. But anyways, let's open this box because I'm so freaking excited. I'm just so happy for this. You guys I have no idea so like I was saying I'm pretty sure I know what the book is and I think Alcrate also chose the same book for January so I'm gonna have two copies but I couldn't help myself okay I couldn't help myself we can compare later down the road when I get the other box okay I'm so excited the theme for this month looks like this Look how pretty this artwork is. It's so girly. It's my favorite kind of pink. The blush and the pastels are just so gorgeous. This is a spoiler card, so I'm not going to look at it. I just want to be surprised. The theme for the month is Regency and Scandal, so I'm excited. Let's check it out. The box looks like this, by the way. What is that, you guys? What is that? Our first item is... It looks like a collapsible lunch box. So let me just close it. So inside there's it's just you know it looks like that this is so cute i mean i think my dog would love this so this is what it looks like it's got like a teacup and some lavender designs on it and it's a very pretty purple like a lavender it's actually really really pretty and girly i think my daughter would love this next up okay i see another fabric item okay let's see what this is oh this is really pretty so this is what i'm seeing Oh, it's an apron, you guys. Look how cute that is. That is so, so pretty. And it goes under your waist, so it's not like a full apron like that. But it goes like over your waist. But look at that. The pattern and the colors. I love the colors in this box already, like the pastels. I really, really love that. And the material for this is really nice. It's like silky, soft, and also like just the pattern and the color. It's really, really great quality. I love it. Next up, I see this box. It's really, really pretty. Again, with the girly design. And it says, The Otherlands Plant Pot. Based by Emily Wilde's Plant Pot. So let's open this, because this is very interesting. This entire box almost feels like it's giving me spring vibes. Get out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it says, The Otherlands. Look how pretty this is. I mean, I'm not like the best at planting things, but that is gorgeous. I love the entire theme of this box. Like, look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. And it's nice and pinky blush color. The design wraps all the way around. That is stunning. Now I want to plant something. I'm not the best, but I'll try. Okay, I'll try. Next up, we have a Fragile Enchantment brooch. I think I'm saying it right. It looks like this before I open it. It looks like this. And then let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow, that's pretty. A Fragile Enchantment, which is based... Okay, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> but this is... Could be based on the book, maybe. But look how pretty that looks. That is super pretty. Next up, I think this is our last item. Black Cliff Academy. On to death, duty first. And this is an Ember in the Ashes travel case. It looks like that. I actually like the colors and the design on them. It has like masquerade swords, like a little half moon. Really pretty. Let's open the inside. I actually would use this for like either shoes or my laptop. This is really nice. So it's got like obviously like these little compartments. And then in the inside, it's got this extra side compartment. And then it's actually pretty deep. So I really, really like that. 
Now moving on to the book, you guys. And I am so excited to see what Fairy Loot did with this. I also love that Fairy Loot provides you this cute little fancy little book pouch so that you're not spoiled at all with the book, you know, and it's not like film wrapped or whatever. So I really like that. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay, so here is the book. Ready, guys? Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is probably so painful for you to watch because... Okay, before we do that, let's pull out the artwork. Here is the artwork for the book of this month. How stunning is that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this. And then on the back, you're going to find the author's letter. And then we have the fairy scoop. And I think this talks about the book and some other products. I haven't opened it yet because I don't want to be spoiled. And now let's get to the book. The edges are really pretty already. Okay, so if I could get this book out, here is the book. Okay, let me look at it. I love when they do the character art in the front cover. Like, I don't mind it at all. I think it looks beautiful. The book for the month is our Fragile Enchantment by Allison Saft. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, look at the lettering. Look at how glossy. The top says, Forbidden Desire woven through every stitch. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous, you guys. I don't know if, like, you're catching how beautiful this is because of the glare of the camera, but it's so pretty. Here's the side. And in the back, it says, A love story for the ages threaded with intrigue and scandal. His golden eyes burned with an intensity just north of hostile and when his gaze locked with hers she swore her heart stopped. Oh my gosh. Can you like tell I'm so excited to read this? Look at that. I think these are digitally sprayed edges. It's this really pretty rose pattern and it goes all the way around the book. Doesn't this call out spring? Like look how pretty this is. I'm so in love with it. Okay, let me take off the dust jacket and let's go over the dust jacket first. The naked cover is gorgeous, guys. It's gorgeous. Okay, so here is the reversible dust jacket and I love it that they included the title on the spine. It's actually really pretty. I don't know if I like this side better than this side. I don't know. I think this side is really pretty. I might like this side better. Look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. And the naked cover of this looks like this. It literally looks like a classic book. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. The colors that they used are so pretty. I love the scissors. I love the flower, everything. Here's the spine. And then the back has a quote on it. It's also very hard to see. There we go. The words are shiny and it says she embroidered until kids breathing evened out beside her until it fell quietly into rhythm with hers. That is gorgeous. I'm happy with this book. The inside character artwork on the end papers. Just so stunning. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. And then let's look at the back. Different on the back. So pretty. I really want to read this book now. Digitally signed. This actually looks like a really short book and this is one of the books I really wanted to read this month. It's only 370 pages and the font is fairly large. Like look at the font. What is this book about? Okay, I read a little bit of it. I know that sometimes with these special edition boxes, the little blurb that they provide inside of the book is not the same as the synopsis. So I find myself being like very confused at times, but let's read this one. Let's see. In glittery avalanche, nobles attend candlelit balls while unrest brews among the working class. Niam is tasked with designing the prince's wardrobe for a royal what for a ro <sighs> For a royal wedding, but the magic in her blood that lets her stitch emotions and memories into fabric is the same magic that will eventually kill her. Cursed and alone, Niam finds herself drawn to the prickly cold prince and an unlikely friendship begins to blossom into something more. This is until an anonymous gossip column is released, exposing their chemistry and threatening scandal. As tensions rise with the royal court and protests rage outside its walls, Niam must decide what cost she is willing to pay for a future and a love she never thought possible. I can't wait to read this. So this is obviously a fantasy romance. She is tasked to make the prince's wardrobe or suit for his royal wedding and then they build up some chemistry and he seems like he's very grumpy. So I can't wait to read this. I'm so excited. Before I let you guys go, let's look at the items. Lunch bag designed by Bluey Boo. I've heard a lot of great things about this designer. And I do love her designs. Take your meals on the go with this insulated lunch bag adorned with a stunning print inspired the Westerio Society of Ladies 
Scandrels by India Holton. I've never heard of that book, but I'm intrigued. Next up, we have the apron designed by Forensic Scandal Flowers. Protect your clothes while you craft, cook, or bake with this gorgeous apron inspired by Half a Soul by Olivia Art Atwater. This is my second apron, and this one's better quality than the last one I got from a different book box, but I don't use them. I forget I have them because they're in a drawer with my cookbooks and stuff. I need to remember to use them because this is such a great quality. The Ceramic Flower Pot designed by Anna Guyanart. Add a touch of charm to your space with this adorable and uniquely shaped planter inspired by Emily Wilde by the Emily Wilde series by Heather Fawcett. So this is really, really pretty. I love that. Frame designed by Jess Hawk. Portrait by Nairu.sky. Whether pinned to a scarf, cardigan, or lapel, this brooch brings magic to any outfit. It features a portrait from Nyam from a fragile enchantment by Allison Saft. <gasps> You guys, you know what I just forgot? The tarot cards. Oh my gosh. Like this is one of the items that they provide in every box just as a free item. And when I used to watch unboxings, I was so wanting to be part of it just for the tarot cards because the artwork is always very stunning. And I can't believe that I forgot to show you that. <sighs> okay, so these are this month's tarot cards. Again, I don't really know who these characters are. This month's tarot card sets features Niam of the Nine Moons card and Kit as the Ten of Moons card. The characters from A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saft are brilliantly illustrated by the talented at underscore Saint Dry. Here are the tarot cards. I'm so excited that I'm finally going to get to collect these. Honestly, I'll probably just use these as bookmarks because you really can't have too many bookmarks. And then finally our book. Our featured book of the month is A Fragile Enchantment by Alison Saft. It's a brilliantly charming romantic fantasy set in a Regency England inspired world. You follow Niam, a magical dressmaker who enters the world of balls, scandal, sheets, and royals. Your Fairy Loot exclusive edition has an exclusive colorway cover, a full color foiled design on the cover by Bluey Blue, reversible dust jacket artwork by Sasha C at underscore art, and papers with different art on the front and back also by Sasha C underscore art, digitally sprayed edges, bonus content, and a digital author signature. Don't forget to read the author letter with the character print on the reverse side by Sasha Sasha C underscore art. Honestly, my favorite item this month would have to be the apron. I love 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 the color that they chose i love the simplicity of the design but also very elegant and i also love the feel of this this is just just feels so buttery it's gorgeous let me know down in the comments what your favorite item of this box was okay guys so that's it that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching my very first fairy loot unboxing i plan to have many many of these more to come if you haven't already please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and i will catch you on my next one Bye.